Thank you for joining us today at 2cutebeads.com. I'm going to show you today how we made our mini flower kit. Um, we're having a lot of fun with our crystal flowers, so I wanted to give you the directions and instructions on how we created it. So your kit's gonna have the E6000, and it's going to have the cosmic rounds in a 20 millimeter and in a 14 millimeter. You're gonna need a toothpick, you're gonna need your wire cutters, your bent nose, some of these supplies. So what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna start because we have to let this set up. So what we're gonna start out with is making our flower pot. So you're just gonna take your E6000 And it kind of squirts out when you first open it. So what I use, I use a toothpick. Load some on here. Try to not get it all over me, but I usually do. Set it to the side. So our flower pot is gonna go this way, so. And the nice thing and the reason I like E6000 is because it's self-leveling. So you're just gonna get your glue on here. Set it down. We're gonna put this one on, our small one on. A little bit more glue. And you've been, if you've been following us on these, our flower kits, um, we've added the E6000 in the small tube into some of our kits. So you can actually use these for our agate kit and our geo kits and and just kind of make sure that everything is in here right. There's our flower pot. And I just kind of check it and make sure it's level and that I'm liking how it's looking. And then I'm gonna set that to the side, throw my toothpick away so I don't get glue all over me. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, while this is drying, start to create my flowers. So I have my wire and I need to straighten it out. And what we're making is we're making three flowers and three leaves. So I need six sections of wire. So what I'm gonna do to get my six sections is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna fold it in half, cut it in half. So I need about five inches. This is 18 inches long. I have 36 inches, so maybe six inches. I'm gonna guesstimate it here and I'm gonna cut three. Because you have more than enough wire. So I'm gonna start with my leaves. Divide my beads up into colors. So 
So we're gonna start with our leaf, which is really easy. If you've been with us before, you see, you've seen how we make our leaves. We just load three on. And I do have, don't let that bother you, that's the glue. I'm gonna bring my wires together. Make sure I have this nice and tight and give it a twist. I actually hold it down at the bottom and I just keep twisting until I have it nice and tight. And again, like I said, we need three of these. Moving on to our flowers now. And in this kit, it has a topaz flower, a black diamond flower, and a crystal flower. And you're gonna have six of each one. So take your remaining wire again and we need three sections. So we're gonna start with our topaz flower and we're gonna load our briolette beads on. And there's six of each color. And we're gonna take our wire now and we're gonna back through three of the beads. So three are hanging down and three we are going to take our wire back through. We're gonna pull tightly have them all facing the same way. We're gonna bring our two sides up and we're gonna take our round bead and load it on and we're gonna again cross through that. Make sure it goes right in the center. And this is where I use my bent nose to make sure I pull tightly on both sides. We've created our flower. Take your wire back behind it. And again, just like we did with our leaves, pull tight, twist. I use my bent nose and I just twist to make my stem. And you wanna twist tightly and you want this thin because we need to wrap all of these together and we need to get them through the holes. So you don't wanna loosely wrap. So that's our topaz flower. So I have my three flowers And I have my leaves. And we have started to set up over here. It's starting to, so I should be able to work with it a little bit. And there's the hole and I need to get all of these in. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut off my, ex my extra wire here. I'm gonna just stick these in the pot so I can see how much I want to take off of each one. Look 
because now we're actually just making a flower arrangement, just like you would with any other flowers. I think I want this to be my longer one, so I'm gonna wrap this down a little bit longer before I cut it off. Because I can always make them shorter once I cut. I can't make them longer, so. And I wanna make sure that they're all gonna go in here nicely. over. And this is going to be our shorter one. Okay. So I really don't need to tighten anything up. Everything's fitting nicely in the hole that I have. So what I'm going to do now is take them all out. And I want this one to be my shorter one. So now I'm going to take all of them facing the same way, and I'm just gonna give them a little twist down here at the bottom. Set it back in. Get my wires nice and tight here. Okay. Now I'm going to arrange my leaves. And I like to get them in three different lengths. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go like this. And again, I do the same thing. out see where I want my leaves to go and take them back in my flower pot carefully and I need to twist them tighter So I need to make sure I can get them through the hole in the flower pot. Okay, having a problem with the hole in the flower pot. So when I have a problem with the hole in the flower pot, I'm gonna untwist it. Because what I've done is I didn't twist my bottoms tight enough. I may have a little kink in it, which I do. Make sure every wire's so I just have to get it nice and tight. Yep, that should leave room. That one went in nicely. This one, my wires are frayed, so they're getting hung up in my flower pot. So I just need to twist them together, make sure I've got all of the wires in. And then again, do the same thing, get my flowers arranged. 
going forward. And I should be able to stick them right in here. He's still a little tight. flower pot was not completely dry so I got ahead of myself here so again you just have to keep working with it until you get everything nice tight and thin Sometimes you can grab it through the bottom. And I want my leaves behind. So just kind of, just like if you were making a flower arrangement at home or working in your garden, you just kind of play with it until you get it like you'd like it. My glue wasn't quite dry for this video because normally I let it set up for a couple of hours. But you can always go back. It's a nice thing about E6000. I can always go back. Because it does take about 24 hours to dry. And there's our completed mini flowers in our flower pot. Done with Oswrowski crystal and a hand handmade glass blown bead. Hope you enjoyed. Please join us again at twocutebeads.com. Thank you.